Welcome to this GiftWorks quick video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to upgrade from GiftWorks 2006 to GiftWorks 2010. GiftWorks 2010 was released on September 8th, 2009, and includes fe new features and new enhancements that make it easier for nonprofit organizations to, um, to manage their donors and donations and to communicate with them using mailings and to uh, analyze their information using reports and smart lists. A number of the features have changed in, in 2010 and coming from 2006. It might take a little while to get used to some of the new features and some of the new structure in GiftWorks 2010. And before you upgrade, we'd encourage you to go visit our website. If you notice on my screen, I'm at our website. If you click on the Support and Services link, the second link down says Guides. If you click on that Guides link, it will take you to our Guides page, which includes new guides. Um, and includes specifically near the bottom includes a What's New in GiftWorks 2010 guide. We'd encourage you to take some time to read that guide. If you click on that link, it'll download a PDF, which it'll tell you all about the differences between GiftWorks 2006 and the changes that have been made in 2010. There's another link right below that, Upgrading to GiftWorks 2010, which I'm going to refer to a little bit later in the video, which will help us, up, help us upgrade the GiftWorks database to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. So but for now, I'd encourage you to do that. But to upgrade GiftWorks 2006 to 2010, I'm going to start. The very first thing I'm going to do before I actually upgrade GiftWorks 2006 is I'm going to sign in to my GiftWorks database while I'm in 2006. And I'm going to go down to my settings area. And the very first thing I'm going to do is do a backup of my data. And so I'm going to click on the Backup the Database link. And I'm going to click OK, which will download, which will back up this GiftWorks database. Uh, currently, it's backing up to my uh, to my local computer, but I want to strongly encourage you to make sure you, you save your GiftWorks backup to a safe and secure location, preferably on a different computer than GiftWorks is on, so that you can always have that backup in the event you need to get back to it, uh, in the event something might go wrong. Um, you'll also notice before we actually begin the upgrade process that I also have GiftWorks volunteers installed. You may be using GiftWorks volunteers with GiftWorks 2006. Um, if you are, then I'm going to also show you how to update that to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. And if you're not using that, you can uh, don't worry about that. Um, this video will uh, also be applicable to you. So the first thing I'm going to do to upgrade is I'm going to close out GiftWorks. And I'm going to go to back to our website. And I'm going to click the in the upper right-hand corner. I'm just going to simply click the Download Free GiftWorks Trial link. And I'm going to fill in this short form. And I'm going to click the Submit button, which will, which will begin the download process for GiftWorks. I'm going to download this to my desktop, which I've done right here. You'll notice in, my, in, my, in a desktop folder, um, I have downloaded GiftWorks version 4.0.22.00. Uh, the 4 represents GiftWorks 2010, and 2.2 was the version that was released on September 8, 2009. If you're watching this video and you've downloaded GiftWorks and it's a version that's higher than version 2.2, you don't need to worry about that. At the time of the release, the version of GiftWorks 2010 was 4.0.22. So to begin the installation process, I'm just going to double click on the file, click Run on the warning message. It's going to prepare to install GiftWorks 2010. This upgrade, pro this uh, installation process is going to be very similar to how you uh, installed GiftWorks 2006 whenever you did. I'm going to click on the Next button. I'm going to agree to the license agreement. I'm going to keep the default area, Program Files, Mission Research, GiftWorks. Uh, we'll come to the Options screen where I can choose to install some add-ins. The first thing is GiftWorks Events. Because GiftWorks Events was not available uh, for GiftWorks 2006, you can keep this checked to install a free 30-day trial of GiftWorks Events. It's an, uh, an add-in that allows you to manage your events um, and the uh, participants in those events. The, the link below is for GiftWorks Volunteers. And there's two options here, really. For those of you who have been using um, GiftWorks Volunteers, you'll notice the gray text below that says this option can also be used to update an older version of GiftWorks Volunteers. If you had GiftWorks Volunteers installed before, then leaving this checked will update your existing version of GiftWorks Volunteers to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. If you did not use GiftWorks Volunteers before, then you can leave this checked to install a free 30-day trial of GiftWorks Volunteers. GiftWorks Volunteers allows you to um, track your volunteers and the jobs that they, that they volunteer for. So once I've chosen these options, which I'm going to leave both of these checked, I'm going to click the Next button. Um, you'll notice the bold text, which simply indicates that GiftWorks is going to remove the previous version before installing the new version. So I'm going to click the Install button to let that begin. 
Now, why this is happening, it gives me an opportunity to tell you that you don't need to uninstall um, your first 2006. This process will um, uninstall the previous version all for you. And once it's done uninstalling it, it's going to then proceed to install your first 2010 like it's doing right now. While this is installing, it'll take a minute or so. It gives me an opportunity to remind you that um, that we've previewed the guide. I showed you where the guide was at our website. That guide will help you and give you information about the changes that have taken place in GIF First 2010. And it will also help you to understand some of the new features that are available to you. The other thing we did was we also created a backup file. And remember, that backup file is only going to be need is only going to need to be used in the event that something were to go wrong or you were to lose your database um, for some reason. We have you make a, a backup of the database because you can never be too certain or never be too sure. Um, and so we just want to make sure, encourage all of you to do backups of your GiftWorks database. So back to the installation, you'll see that it's completing the installation of GiftWorks 2010, and now it's beginning the GiftWorks events installation. I'm going to click the Next button to install. This is installing, the, remember, the free 30-day trial of GiftWorks events. This installation will only take a couple seconds. So it's installing GiftWorks events, and after it's done installing GiftWorks events, it's going to then go and install GiftWorks volunteers. After it's done installing, and then it's going to begin the process of installing GiftWorks volunteers. If you also remember, I did have GiftWorks volunteers installed before, and so I'm going to begin this installation process. You'll notice the one thing it's going to do is first remove the previous version of GiftWorks volunteers, and then it's going to go ahead and, re and install the updated version of GiftWorks volunteers to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. There are no functional changes to GiftWorks volunteers. Um, it just uh, updates it to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. And once I'm done the installation process, I can click the Finish button, which will then launch 2010 for the first time. Let me straighten out my screen here, but once I straighten out my screen, then you'll notice there's a license key area in GiftWorks 2010, which I'm going to need to enter in a new license key. If you're going to be using GiftWorks 2010, then you know that you probably either have purchased an, uh, a GiftWorks 2010 license key, or you're in the process of purchasing a GiftWorks 2010 license key. In a moment, I'm going to enter my GiftWorks license key, but because I want to keep my license key private, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to enter my license key, and I'm going to click the Go button. And then after I do that, we'll pick, it up, we'll pick the video up in a moment. So I've entered my license key, and I have um, clicked on the Go button, which brings me to the registration page. And on the registration page, it'll bring up the previous registration information that I provided when registering GiftWorks 2006. But I'm also going to have to provide a little additional information to complete this registration form. I'm going to come down to currently use software, which I was using GiftWorks already. So I'll choose GiftWorks. And then my organization was founded in 2004. I'm going to click the Next button. I'm going to click the Next button after my congratulations and the welcome. I'm going to click the Next button. And then I'm going to select a database. And the database that I'm going to open is my previous GiftWorks 2006 database. I click the Next button, it'll give me an opportunity to navigate or choose or browse to my database, which is this My GiftWorks Data database. I'm going to click the Next button and I can choose my user, and I can click the Done button. Now, once I go to sign into this GiftWorks database, it's going to prompt me because I'll need to upgrade this database to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. And if I could refer to back the GiftWorks Guide page, where I showed you the What's New in GiftWorks 2010, underneath that is an Upgrading to GiftWorks 2010 um, uh, link to a guide as well. And this link and this guide will tell you everything you need to know to make the appropriate choices to upgrade your database to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. If I go back to my upgrade, if I click the next button, you're going to see a page full of choices that I'll need to make. And on, these and on these choices, they will reflect options regarding upgrading from GiftWorks 2006 to GiftWorks 2010. And as part of this database upgrade, I need to choose the appropriate options. Once I do that, I'm just going to leave these the default settings. And with the help of that guide, which you can also get to that guide by clicking on this blue link up here, that guide will give you all the information. And once I click Next, I can review the options that I've chosen. And then when I'm ready, I can click the Upgrade button. The Upgrade button will take, um, take just a few minutes. For me, it only takes a few seconds. For you, it may take a number of minutes. It could take even upward of 30 minutes to complete the upgrade. But be patient, and soon enough, your database will be successfully upgraded. And once I click OK, I'm going to sign into my database. And once I sign into my database, I've successfully completed upgrading GiftWorks itself from GiftWorks 2006 to GiftWorks 2010. And then just a moment ago, I successfully upgraded my database from GiftWorks 2006 to be compatible with GiftWorks 2010. And once I do that, I can now begin to use all the features and functions that are available in GiftWorks 2010 
um, to begin to communicate, to begin to manage my information and to report um, and to, uh, to do the things I need to do to uh, complete my mission, um, to complete uh, the things that I need to do. And so we wish the be all of you the best of success when using GiftWorks. We trust that um, GiftWorks in some small way will help you accomplish your mission as well. And so uh, thank you very much for watching this GiftWorks quick video. <laughs>